tonight from Vanderbilt Stadium here in Nashville, Tennessee. The Florida Gators meet the Vanderbilt Commodores. Go Gators! Tonight, Treon Harris is expected to be more prominent in the throwing game. How will the Gators approach this game from a mental standpoint? Will they be riding high with confidence coming off a of victory over Georgia? Or will they perhaps take Vanderbilt a little lightly? Let's go! 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 McCrary on a play action, dropping back, looks to throw the ball down the middle of the field. He's got a receiver and a catch and a touchdown for Stephen Shoy on a 33-yard touchdown pass to the tight end. Taylor, the running back. Harris in the pistol, takes the snap and hands it off to Taylor up the middle of the field. A great run, a bounce to the outside, to the five, and down to the goal line. Touchdown! Touchdown! Taylor made on a 13-yard run by Kelvin Taylor. Touchdown, Gators! Snap now to Harris, dropping back, looking, looking, looks to throw a deep ball down the right side for Fullwood. Fullwood makes the catch, and he's out of bounds on a beautiful catch. He's at the seven-yard line. Oh, my! That's 48 yards for a pass completion. It's goal to go. Now on fourth down and goal at the one-yard line, Treon Harris will be the quarterback. Matt Jones, the running back. Seven, seven tie. Gators on fourth and goal at the one-yard line. Harris calling for ball. There's the snap. The hand off to Jones. He's hit and stopped. As Zach Cunningham plugs that gap and Vanderbilt turns the Gators away. The Gators failed to score. I personally did not mind that call at all. I just hope this Gator defense responds accordingly. Hands the ball off here to Webb off the right side. Webb really can run, and the ball's out. He got across the five-yard line, out to around the seven when the ball came loose, and there's a wild scrum now. Gators are certain they've got it. And they do! The Gators have forced a Vanderbilt turnover. Snap to Driscoll, trying to run. He's going to hurdle over the top. And he's in for the touchdown. Driscoll hurdles high and in the end zone. And the Gators have scored to take the lead. Here's the handoff and running play to Webb. And Webb up the middle of the field, hipping and ripping out across the 40. Ball out again at the 43-yard line. And the Gators have recovered again. Oh, my. A second consecutive Commodore giveaway. There's the snap. Set down. Kick is up on the way, and it is good. Here now, Harris dropping back, looking, throws one down the middle of the field, got a wide open Dunbar with a catch at the 20, at the 15, at the 10, caught from behind and brought down to the nine yard line. Oh my, Harris to Dunbar, first and goal to go. Snap to Harris, he rolls off to his left. He looks, he looks, not gonna run, turn it up to the goal line, he's in, touchdown. Harris scores, and the Gators now lead 23-7. Twins to the left, single receiver right. Snap to Harris, he's going to run. Harris at 30, Harris to inside the 30, inside the 20, breaks the tackle, up the hash mark. He's going to take it in, all the way. Oh my, that's a 33-yard run from Treon Harris, and a touchdown, Gators. Two receivers left, one to the right. McCrary dropping back, now stepping up. Goes to the near sideline. It's picked off. Read beautifully by Vernon Hargraves. Out of pick, out of bounds on the near side at the 26-yard line. Vernon Hargraves comes up with his second interception of the year and fifth of his career. And the Gators have their third takeaway of the night. Now McCrary back to throw. Fires it toward the end zone. Great interception by the Gators' Jalen Tabor. The Gators tonight come to Music City and come away with a victory over the Vanderbilt Commodores. Our final score here in Nashville tonight, the Florida Gators 34 and the Vanderbilt Commodores 10.